So the programs, see, as we say, engineering is our flagship course, engineering and management. So I should firstly talk about BTEC and MBA. So the first course that we provide is BTEC, and uh, I should say MBA as the second course. Now in BTEC we have uh, several course, several uh, streams. Like we have computers, basic streams are all present, like computer science and engineering, electronics and communication engineering. We have mechanical engineering, we have electrical engineering, we have civil engineering. So all these courses are present, uh, the basic courses are all there. But then again, we uh, give specializations. Now if you talk about, we provide many specializations and that is also possible because of a modernization of education that we follow. Firstly, let me tell you what specializations the student can take. Even if he is saying CSE, he can take CSE in general. Like a student can opt for BTEC, BTEC CSE. But then within BTEC CSE, he can also opt for specializations, not generalized CSE. If needed, he can go for generalized CSE. But if he wants to go for the specialization, he can take cloud computing. Like he can be BTEC CSE with specialization in cloud computing. He can be BTEC CSE with specialization in cyber forensic and internet security. He can have BTEC CSE with specialization in artificial intelligence. He can have BTEC CSE with specialization in blockchain technology. He can have BTEC CSE with specialization with data science and artificial intelligence. Now say in electrical engineering, a student can always opt for BTEC in electrical engineering. But if he wants to, he can also take BTEC electrical engineering with specialization in renewable energy resources by choosing topics of that sort. He may choose for BTEC mechanical engineering, but then he can also choose BTEC mechanical engineering with specialization in machine design. He can choose a BTEC mechanical engineering with specialization in automobile engineering. He can choose BTEC in electronics and communication engineering. He can choose BTEC in civil engineering, but then again in BTEC civil engineering, he can choose BTEC civil engineering with specialization in sustainable construction engineering. Like green buildings, as we have been hearing, like nowadays green buildings are a big, big, a big, big boom. Like uh, we can say uh, like buildings are being constructed where electricity consumption is the minimum. There is greenery all around. The building is totally dependent on solar energy and all those things are there. So we have this, we have MTech also, MTech in all these courses, BTEC uh, in MTech in CSE, ECE, EE, -E, that is electrical engineering, civil engineering, mechanical engineering. And in MTech, the specializations are very, very important. Specializations are offered by almost all colleges in India in MTech. We also do the same. We provide MTech CSE with specialization in information security. We provide MTech CSE with specialization in data science. We provide MTech CSE with specialization in big data analytics. We provide MTech CSE with specialization in cloud computing. We provide MTech ECE with specialization in communication engineering. MTech ECE with specialization in microelectronics. We provide MTech ECE with specialization in VLSI. We provide MTech EE that is electrical engineering with specialization in power electronics, power systems, control systems. We provide MTech Civil with specialization in structural engineering and transportation engineering. We provide MTech Mechanical with specialization in production engineering, industrial engineering, and thermal engineering. So these are the specializations. As a whole, the student will choose MTech in one of the streams of CSE, ECE, ME, EE, or Civil. And within that, the student will choose his or her specialization. We have got School of Management also in which MBA, BBA courses are provided. BBA uh, and a student can opt from from any domain like even if he is having science, commerce, arts, he can choose for BBA which is a three years course mainly focused towards as you can understand it is bachelor in business administration so uh, it is generally for business administration you want to go to the management you want to uh, lead an industry then BBA is a suitable course for you after class 12 from any stream MBA is a two years course, as we all know, and from any stream of graduation after graduation, a student can opt for MBA. BBA plus MBA is a special course that we provide. Now, let me tell you over here, BBA is a three years course. MBA is a two years course. If you combine, if you do BBA followed by MBA, it will take three plus two, five years. Definitely. We have got a BBA plus MBA integrated four years degree program 
it's a uh, integrated course you don't get a dual degree but you get an integrated degree of bba plus mba i repeat once more it is not that you get a bba certificate and you get a separate mba certificate you get a bba plus mba integrated degree within 4 years that is you save one year and you say that you are a bba plus mba and you can get a job equivalent to any mba but after saving one year also so this is an integrated course we have we have got the mba executive course uh, this is a separate course again like many students are there or many what should i say many executives are there who are working in industry and they say that uh, apart from doing my a uh, job i want to get a special mba degree so mba executive is for you specializations in mba are there in finance marketing human resources strategic planning production and operation and information technology so these are the specializations we have